right rain here and this is going to be a haul video as you can see from the title. Okay, I'm trying to keep this portion of the video really quick because basically this is two separate videos in one. This is the first part of the video which I am recording today, March the 14th. I have moved. We still unpacking. I don't have my tripod. I just have the camera sitting on the box. But um, I did want to go ahead and do this haul. I've had this stuff for a while. I was supposed to do the haul before I moved, but I didn't get a chance to. And in the second part of this video, you're going to see some other items. That video was filmed about three, two or three weeks ago and before I moved. So I just decided to put them all in one instead of doing two separate videos. I'm going to go really quick. First thing I'm going to show you is from a local store here called Sam Moon. They sell accessories, purses, jewelry, watches, scarves, hair accessories, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of like Charming, it's like Charming Charlie, if you all were scared of that, and maybe I get the Claire's or the icing or something like that. But anyway, they, the store is located here in Dallas, but you can also purchase things online, which is what I did. I didn't actually go into the store. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it started with this bag. Now, you can see this is a mustard and navy blue colored color block bag. And you know what? On, on mine, this bag looks half the size of what it really is. This bag is huge. This is like a, oh honey, I'm going overnight to spend a night uh, at somebody's house and let me pack my toothbrush and toothpaste and change the clothes and all this stuff in there. Now, I am using this bag right now. This is my purse right now. And for those of you who know me, this is not even a surprise. And y'all can imagine how heavy this is. I don't know uh, why I always have so much crap in my purse. But I think I'm going to be changing to a different bag because this is really just too big. But anyway, it also came with this smaller bag on the inside, which I do like. And this smaller bag has a strap. I don't know where the strap is right now. But this smaller bag has a strap, so you can carry this as like a bag by itself. And I don't remember how much these items were, but they were anywhere from uh, 30 to, no, like 20 to $30, $20 $30. So I have that one. This one here, which is this faux, I don't know if it's supposed to be snake, crocodile, or whatever, but you know what? I don't think that this is a good quality faux whatever the hell it's supposed to be. It just really looks like a damn plastic ass, fake ass bag to me. I don't know. But anyway, it has one strap and the other side doesn't have a strap, as you can see. Came with the long strap. It is black. Black and white on the inside. Anyway, uh, this is the same place. I may take this. I'm thinking I may take it back. I don't know. I'm really not sure. But I'm not happy with the quality of the boldness of this bag. Same thing goes for this one except for it's red. It's not the same bag though. This one has a flap. Kind of like a vintage. You know. I do love the closures and things, this hardware on the bag. But same thing, not a good quality bonus. So I bought several things from Sam Moon. I've had I have several bags from Sam Moon. And I've, I've I purchased most of the time online. And these are the only this these two are the only times I was really kind of disappointed with what I got from the store. But anyway, and I also got this white one. And this white one, it's weave. It has weaving. Hope you can see that. Two straps. Inside looks like it came with a longer strap as well. This bag is quite large, but it is not. Well, you know what? I don't have to lie. I guess it's kind of almost the same size as this one. I don't know why it looks smaller to me. But anyway. I just wanted, I wanted a white bag, I didn't have one, so I got that. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is items, I, oh, also from Sam Moon. I got this break, this watch, see it's a watch, and the colors has that um, 
turquoise blue in the middle and then it has coral orange on each side and I got this other one the same one except for the colors are pink like an oatmeal and brown nice little simple accessory that's what I like and I also got this gold link watch um, it's kind of it's like the watch that I showed you I got from Target except for it's all gold has some little both studs around the edges, da da da. Got that too. Next thing I'm gonna show you is these two jackets that I got from um, Yerlin Boutique. Um, I did go to the website and I don't know if they're going out of business or what the situation is, but all of their stuff, the stuff they did have, like a lot of the stuff that sold out, was only ten dollars. So I got this mustard colored jacket and this jacket has a lining so it's really more suitable for fall it's not a thin jacket by any means it's not thin at all but I got this jacket for 10 bucks and this one I really really do it doesn't have a lining so I can wear it now for a time this one thing has the ruching on the sleeve. It is long sleeve, but it's quite thin. It's more kind of like a cardigan than a jacket. It has these buttons here. Let me put it on. Let me show you what it looks like. I really like it. I always put my sleeves up, so I'm really careful about my sleeves. This is what it looks like. These wedges, I couldn't think of the name. I got these wedges, they're like a neutral color. They have gold hardware. I really like this shoe, this shoe. And this is out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't ordinarily pick something like this, but I did, and I really like them. And these necklaces are my favorite. These. These are my favorite buy from Charlotte Roo. They had them also in red, but the red was sold out. In my size, it was sold out. Um, so these are cobalt blue wedges, laced up. They have the cutouts on each side. I love these. I got this black and white maxi skirt. The skirt kind of goes out at the bottom. I love the fit, it fits really well. size large. Also got these um, harem pants. Black and white dolls, so harem pants. I haven't worn these. I have worn the skirts. Haven't worn these. Again, very cute. And each of these were $24.99. Skirt book and the harem pants were. Um, I don't know when I'll be back with another video. Like I said, I'm still kind of Packing. But anyway, stay tuned for the next clip for the rest of the, the video. Haul. All right, in this video, this is gonna be a quick haul. Um, I got some other stuff, but I'm not gonna show it in this video because I do not want this video to be long. Okay, 
So first I'm gonna start off with some workwear items that I got from Target. Um, these are items that I would wear to work. Now it may not necessarily be appropriate for your work, but you know, we really don't have an, an established dress code at my job. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> now, they had these cropped pants on clearance. Now, I'm not sure why they were on clearance because this is stuff you could totally wear in the spring as well as summer too, especially if you work in an office like I do because you're in inside and more often than not, offices are usually kind of cool. But the cropped pants, they don't have a lining. So, you know, I say they're pretty comfortable for all year round. But anyway, uh, the first pair I got are these. See, they are cropped pants. And I hope you can see the print on these. I don't know what you call it, but I, this is like, you know, one of the standard um, suit prints. I don't know the, what you call it. But anyway, um, I got these in a size 10 and these pants were on clearance for $8.38. I got this coral colored one and most of them did come with a belt also. So I got this coral colored one and it came with an orange belt. Coral crop pants. This gray pair. Heather Gray, crop pants as well, you know, standard uh, dress pant color. This one came with a purple belt. This is a size 10, and they were 838 also. And I got one more, and it's the one I'm wearing. I'm gonna stand up. Hope you can see. This is, what, is it ox blood, maroon, burgundy, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And it has a bronze belt with it. This is a size 10. They were 838 as well. On bathandbodyworks.com, I got this little old, uh, I don't know. They call it Splish Splash Gift Set. And it is Moonlight Pad. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Bath and Body Works scents. I just love it so much. I love the smell. Um, it came with a lotion, a body wash. Uh, triple moisture body cream and the body spray all full size and it's loofah sponge which I will not be using anyway I got the forever red y'all I love oh I love this forever red I don't know what it reminds me of but oh I love it so much Lord help me I'm so happy I finally got it um, I know if I waited long enough, they'll put it on some type of special. But anyway, I got the Forever Red Full Size Body Mist. I got the Triple Moisture Body Cream. I got the Shower Gel. And I got the Body Lotion. Now thin. But anyway, this is Sugar Lemon Fizz. I got Fresh Picked Pears. Cucumber Melon. Kitchen Mandarin and Fresh Thyme. Fresh Picked Lemons. Now, I love their kitchen lemons, so I'm thinking I might like these lemon scents as well. And then I got Kitchen Apple with Fresh Mint. And they were six for 20 or six for 25 or something like that. Okay, I did go into the store and I found, and I got some candles. Now, I'm, I got three candles and I did get scents that I don't ordinarily buy and I don't know if this is part of their um you know spring summery summer collection or or whatever but I really like these they real tropical smelling I got the Tiki Beach and I have lit this one and I got this coconut leaves I have not burned this one I love the way this smell also um it does smell like coconut and I do love the smell of coconut and then I got this poolside. 
And this, this just smells really fresh. This is a really fresh smelling candle. I can't wait to burn that one and see what it smells like. Again, I'm gonna wait until I move to set these all up. No need in doing it now. And, um, oh, these candles in the store, I think, were two for 20. Two for 20. I bought four, but I gave one of them away. But, yeah, the candles were two for 20. And also, I forgot to show you all from Target, I got a pair of earrings. And these earrings were on clearance for, I think, $4. Three, four dollars, I don't know, something like that. But, anyway... They just some gold earrings, and they have, what, rhinestones on them. They are real cute. Yes, um, I think they, they was on clearance, I think, for like 4 or $5, like I said. And then I also got this watch. Honey. Y'all know I'm not big on jewelry. I do wear it to try to accessorize a look, but really, as soon as I hit the door, that all that shit comes out. So anyway, I got this watch. Uh, it is rose gold and silver, and I love this watch. It is so cute, and it looks so rich. But anyway, I'm sure all of y'all know by now about the Target watches. Uh, 20 bucks for the watch. And one more thing I got, and this is a wig. I did order this online. I ordered it from Hairwig Harlem. And this is by Bishi, and it is human hair, and it's called HH Vega. Now, this is not going to be a pull out and put on wig. I'm going to be doing some things with this. I'm going to wash it and uh, blow dry it and, and style it up or whatever. And I all, and um, and this wig, Hair Wig Harlem, was $26.99. And I also got this girl that I'm wearing here, which I did film a video about because this was a takeout put on take out put on rake the comb through a couple times wig and it was ready to go in after though and um i will put the link to the video uh on this wig where i'm talking about this wig telling you exactly what it is so on and so forth but anyway i will be making a separate video how i do what i'm gonna do with miss honey right here but yes okay Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Please thumbs up this video. Like, 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 like. It's right below this video. Um, Share this video. Follow me on Instagram and my Tyrain. I do not post a lot to Instagram, which I'm trying to do more of, but I don't know. I guess I'm not just a soul. I'm just not a social butterfly like some other people are. I hope you like the things I found in this video. Bye.